Hello everybody, I'm Martin. Today we are going to discuss the Advanced Generators mod. And if you are unfamiliar with this mod, it does two things. It creates generators to create power, and it creates another machine that lets you create fuel to be able to power this in the event that you don't have something else to do it with. I do however want to note that this mod has been mostly unchanged since 1.12. I'm currently doing this testing on 1.19, which at its current state only really has a mechanism to work with. But the guidance here should work no matter which version of the mod you are using. This mod integrates fairly well with certain other mods, specifically things like Thermal Expansion, Tinkers IO, Ender IO, and Mechanism. And if you weren't using a mod with pipes, you were probably going to be in for a bad time because I don't know how you will move around your fuel or your power without them. So, without further ado, let's take a quick look at the parts for this because this is a very poorly named mod, which I think scares people away due to the word advanced in here. When the reality is, you just find the gas turbine controller and it tells you all of the modules you can add to it, and you just plug them in. And if we look back here, you can see that you can more or less plug them in in any configuration, and as soon as you put the controller in, it just works. And if we come into the turbine controller, you see that I'm feeding it liquid ethylene from mechanism. There's five turbines on this, and it's generating 5,000 RF or FE a tick. So going over this real fast, what you need is a turbine controller, or a steam turbine controller if you want to pass it steam instead of a liquid fuel. From there, you need a fluid intake valve to be able to put your fuel in, a flux generator, and if you're using industrial craft, there'll be a separate plug to, to put out EU power instead. And then up to 50 turbines of varying types. The higher up they go, the more power they produce, but as you can see, the list stops here at composite turbines, but if you have certain other mods, there will be better and better versions of this, including Endernium from Thermal Expansion or Many Lumen from Tinker's Construct. You also would put a capacitor in here to give it an internal power bank to store power in, as well as a fuel tank to store uh, fuel internally. You can have multiples of each of these. Again, it shows you how many right there in the tooltip. There are also two add-ons you can put that increase fuel efficiency, the fuel air mixer, and the gas mix compressor. And really, that's about all there is to it. At that point, you then just lay down any configuration you want, plug in your fuel source, in this case I have liquid ethylene, but you can make a syngas producer controller and make another multi-block for that. It shows you all the instructions in here. And if we go into JEI, you can see what it takes for fuel generally. It's all pretty simple for the most part. Going into the gas turbine controller, if you only have advanced generators, it will only show you the syngas here, but there are other options. With mechanism, I have liquid ethylene and liquid hydrogen. Depending on what you've got, your options broaden greatly, and this is all easily plug and play. None of this is complicated. The last thing that I would mention here is that you can also upgrade these easily. You can start with a basic one and then use this upgrade kit combined with one of these other rotors to then upgrade your engines. And the other thing I do want to say is please stop making cubes out of your advanced generators. You can actually make them in any shape you want as long as they are all connected. This generator elk thing that I've made here absolutely works because all the blocks touch. You can add your decorations. I could pipe them out the bottoms of the feet because the pipes go out there as well. It, it all works pretty seamlessly, so do me a favor, get weird. Anyhow, if you found this interesting or entertaining, please consider me a like or subscribe if you're new. As always, I'm Ard. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.